I'm back! Hello you gorgeous people, welcome back, this is Beauty Unboxing with Kia. I'm back from my holiday, uh, it was lovely, it was great, uh, it was so nice to get away. I went to Turkey for a whole 10 days, uh, but 10 days was way too much for me, I needed to come home, I was feeling really homesick, I was missing the food here, I was missing simple things like a bath. You know, they only had like a walk-in shower in the hotel. The food there was just boring. But other than that, uh, I really loved it. It was a really nice holiday. The weather was glorious. So yeah, I'm back doing the boxes that we've got here. So here I've got three latest in beauty boxes. Um, these came just before I went away. And I really, I'm so sorry, but I can't remember what these three are all about. I think I remember two of them uh, being because one of the boxes were free if you went on and bought one of their edits. Now, Ladies in Beauty is, uh, you can do a subscription box on there where you actually get to choose what products you want to go inside. I think you get to choose about six products. Um, I've not actually done that yet. I've looked on and I've not really seen anything amazing on there that I want. But I do remember going on because I had an email and it came up that if I was to purchase one of their edits um, I could get a free box and that was for Easter so and we're in May now so a bit of a while ago and yeah so that will be one of them and the free box will be one of them I really don't know which which is which I think one of the other boxes was because they had this incredible kind of like make your own box edit thing so they have like all these options and there was quite a few good options but I really can't remember for the life of me how it worked or what it was I think they just made like a drop of all these products and instead of it being a subscription box you could just create your own one-off box and that's what one of these is as well so we'll, we'll get into this in a minute I just I really love blueberry muffins okay I don't know where to start um, because obviously I don't know what... Oh, I think that this one might actually be that um, crazy do-it-yourself box edit thing. So why don't we get into this one and then I'll leave these two to the side. God, they're heavy. But, uh, I think it is. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so, okay. This is the Sunday Times Style Beauty Awards 2023 by Latest in Beauty. I think it was about £30. Yeah, I think it was about £30. Okay, so inside it looks like that. Oh, got a little 20% off for uh, neon products, which I absolutely love. Okay, yes, this was something that you could pick out yourself and create your own edit. I do remember now. But is this what I picked? Uh, right, okay, we'll go into it. Uh, first, I purchased something by Lush. can't remember what it is. Oh, it's a magnesium massage bar. Yeah, you know, the kind of work that I do requires muscle work, um, believe it or not. Yeah, my, my mus- why isn't this opening? My muscles can get really achy sometimes. And when I saw this, I thought, yeah, I'm getting that. Oh, uh, oh, God, that smells really strong. It smells almost like peppermint. Um, but yeah, so this is how it looks. I just they're like that and uh, so it's got like these little pointy tips on it and yeah I'm just guessing that when you're in the bath you massage that on and that would I think would be an incredible feel on your muscles I think I'll give that a go in a bath later on I've missed these too you know things little things it's little things that you miss when you go away next we have something by milk sense base expressive what, why did I get this? It is commodity milk. So it's a scent spray thing. Give it, give it a go. Oh, 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 I don't like that. Sorry, I'm really sorry. That is awful. What is it though? Like, scent space expressive for me and the many around me. So I'm guessing it's a scent for, you know, um, the space around you not actually to go on you that literally burnt my nose as well that's awful i really don't like that 
okay, I guess it's something cool to come up with, you know, a nice little scent booster around you just in case you don't like um, the smell of a place that you're in or, you know, in a smoking environment, um, <laughs> I guess, you know, yeah. I guess, yeah, that's a good, like, little thing to come up with. Uh, however, I don't like that scent. Um, if there was other different scents, then yeah. But, yeah, good for um, confined spaces, I think. Maybe if you travel on a bus or a train. Um, sometimes those places can get a little bit stuffy. Um, and, yeah, I used to have, like, a little bit of scent booster around you. Uh, I think that's a good, unique thing to have. So, I don't know the prices of any of these. Um, so, we just going through them and picking them out and seeing what they are. I'm so sorry at how awful I am with this. Next, um, I see something that I already have um, and that I absolutely adore. Uh, this is by Neon Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. But yes, it works. It's like a charm. Uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's got such a nice like lavender scent. Yeah, it says here and chamomile and patchouli. You know, I've sprayed it quite a lot and it's still pretty full as well. So it's really good. It gives like a really nice fine mist. And yet, Neom is one of my favourite brands, so I'm really, really happy uh, to get another one of these. Great for those times when you really can't sleep, um, just give it a spray and you do just drift off, it does help. Um, if you don't want to use it as like a sleep mist, then you could actually use it as like a calming mist, that helps a lot, I think. Next, I picked out an empty cardboard. Now, next we have a, um, so this uh, it's like a little sample this it's a mascara by mac and it's the mac stack super stack mega brush um and that's how it looks um and yeah it says here uh, infinite build volume and length mascara mascara oh, that's a different language and i believe that this is i think one of their new ones that they have out as well so yeah nice to get a little um sample that is how the one looks that's not a bad wand that's really good thicker on the outside uh, it goes thinner towards the end yeah that looks like it could really lift up those lashes right so that's the mac stacks uh, next we have a oh yeah i remember this now okay so this is a bobby brown lipstick uh can't remember what shade in claret all the packages the packaging is nice uh, so that is the Bobbi Brown lipstick uh, in the shade Claret and oh that is a lovely colour, very me, quite pretty that, give it a swatch, yeah that's a lovely colour, really really like that, that could potentially be one of my new favourites and a go to. And last but not least, we have a Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I remember I wanted this. I've actually heard some great stuff about this. It's crazy, but that is how it looks. It's like in a clear kind of gel form. So this is just for styling your eyebrows. I think uh, sets them in place as well. And that's it for that one. Um, so some great products. Uh, you get one, two, three four five six so you get six products and yeah i think it was about 30 pound um i think that this has gone off their site now because obviously i got this a while ago um but yeah i just wanted to share um these unboxings with you guys uh, guessing that this is the edit that i bought in order to receive the free box i'm guessing that this is the free box so this is the Trend and Beauty Edit March Edition. I can't remember what was in this. I think it cost around 30 to 35 pounds. Um, I know I didn't pay any more than that. Oh, it looks like we have some really good stuff in here. Okay, so what we have here is, oh, Exfoliating Body Scrub by Strivectin, Strivectin, I don't know. It's a body system and according to this uh, little leaflet here, 
it's supposed to visibly tighten and firm, brighten and restore, restore, restore radiance, hydrate and smooth. It's giving you like a little picture example here of what uh, it should look like there. Um, so yeah, we've got two of these uh, here. One is an exfoliating body scrub and the next is a tightening body cream. interesting to have very interesting next we have a dr hoshka 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 i don't know dr hoshka it's a facial toner <laughs> um yeah so a facial toner it says limited edition here uh, everything else is in a different language so it doesn't really give us anything else on the back uh, oh very posh so yeah that's how it comes um is that like oh it's a bit sprays so instead of it being like one of them where you have to dab it on uh, it's a spray one so you can just spray this uh, all over your face which I think is good I've got so many toners that I'm just trying to get through them like as quickly as I can, but I can't, I can't keep up. Okay, next we have, oh, an actual, um, well, it's a mini MAC, uh, MAC Stack Mascara. I've got a sample and I actually have uh, one of their mascaras now. So, yeah, this is apparently only a mini version, but I think that's a great size for a mini version. Cool packaging, it really is. It's got like a little ball in the middle there. Yep, there you go, that's the wand. Yeah, so nice to have. Uh, got a sample there, so and you know what? I've just opened that sample. I could have given that away. If I knew I was getting this, I could have given that away. Which I think I knew I was getting this. I don't I don't I don't know what's going on with it. muffin. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, we have something here uh, by the Beauty Crop. It's I've seen this. It's a cocoa bronze bronzer palette. So you've got four shades in this. One is sand. One is cocoa. One is toast. Toast. Two. Two. One is toasted cocoa and one is spiced rum. Oh, that's cute. Oh yeah, I have seen these on the Beauty Crop's website. That is pretty. I like the packaging on this. Inside is all of the four shades there. Now, I've just tried to swatch these, but you can't really see them on my hand. I don't know if you could see them. Uh, but yeah, so they're quite pretty. Yeah, that is pretty. Um, okay, next um, we have, yeah, I remember uh, seeing this when I purchased it. So this is an X Lux brush by Brushworks. Um, it's a number four tapered oval brush. Now, I believe that this is for your eyes. It shows like a little description on the back there. But I have no idea how to use this. The extraordinarily super soft, dense brush heads will help you create a natural and flawless makeup finish. These cloudy, soft, vegan friendly fibers pick up any kind of loose makeup powders and creams for the ultimate in makeup application. So this is perfect for applying a precise line of product along the upper lash line or below the lower lash line. It's a medium width brush packed full of delicate fibers to help concentrate the application in line. You can also use the brush to create multitudes of looks with colorful shadows and special effect powders in shapes and medium size lines. Okay. Oh wow, that does look quite thin. Okay, I'll get this out and I'll show you all. <laughs> that just trapped me, that hurt. Oh, I hate these plastic box things, they're awful. They're too hard, they're too spiky. These could literally cut your finger off, I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Okay. That is like bizarre to me, but that is how it looks. And that is how thin it is. Okay, it's worth giving a go. Don't knock till you've tried it. But yeah, that's crazy, it's bizarre to me that have uh, something by Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I think I got one of these in a, a previous 
box but and I think I went on to kind of say that this felt empty and this one feels the same I'm gonna do the light test because you know yeah it's only up to the O here you see where the O is there yeah it's only up to there so it's only like halfway full but I'm guessing it's just a deluxe sample so it is what it is okay now this is an intensive exfoliating treatment I have not used my other one yet I'm still trying to get through all my other exfoliants think I might just give this one away I think I'm gonna come around to sort out another giveaway very very soon that's it for the trending beauty edit now for this box not too sure why it's open why did I open? I think it's because I did not know what box this was. Yeah, I just put the boxes somewhere uh, once they've been delivered. Forget about them. And then when it comes around to like seeing it, it's like, huh? What are you? How did you get here? Okay, so yeah, I did. I opened it and then was like, oh, okay, it's late as a beauty. Put it away again. So, okay, we're going to get into this now. So this is the free box that came with the edit, um, which I think is quite cool. You know, you just get a free box full of stuff. But it's great. It's not too shabby. Okay, first I'm pulling out gothos. Looks like there's some full-size stuff in here. Um, okay, this uh, is... Calm Deep Cocoon Shower Cream. Oh, I do like my calming stuff. This is a 200ml bottle and it says Our Deep Cocoon Shower Cream, fragrant with powdery iris, herbal, lavender and warm earthy amber. Uses soothing, uh, use soothing passion flower, relaxing lion flower and nurturing gardenia. Gardenia. Stem cells to leave your senses tranquil and skin cleansed, fragrant and nourished. Oh, that's lovely. Mm, I like the scent of that. Very nice. Calming. Yeah, it is. It is what it says it is. Calming. And I like the I like the fact that that is a full size, so they've not really skimped out on you here. Next, <laughs> I am seeing. Oh, it's a dry shampoo. Uh, this is by Amica. Percup. Dry shampoo. Yeah, bottle's quite funky. Oh, I like the scent of that. Oh, gives a nice silky finish to your uh, to to your hair. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah, I like that. That's quite nice. All right, next, um, I have something by. Herlem London Sandalwood and Grapefruit Hand and Body Lotion. That doesn't look appealing at all. Um, this just feels like something that they've had in their stock for so long and they can't get rid of it and they're just throwing it in there. Um, just, you know, for the sake of getting rid of it. But then again, it's a free box, so it's not like it's something I paid for. It's something they're just giving away. Maybe a few of these things are just stock that has been sat there for so long and they can't get rid of it. So it says here, take a century journey to Brazil and experience the richness of the butter from the Amazon rainforest, leaving skin feeling smooth and protected with a healthy glow, enjoy. Okay, I do like the smell of that. Um, but yeah, just again, I mean, that doesn't seem very nice. It's just a plain bo white bottle with a boring white label. Um, and yeah, it just doesn't seem very appealing, but that does feel nice. And yeah, it smells really nice as well. Uh, this is something by Christoph Robin. It's a hydrating leave-in cream. Yeah, don't mind something like that. It says this lightweight silky cream eases blowouts and styling, instantly smoothing frizz and flyaways for a polished finish. Visibly restoring vitality to dry hair so it feels soft and nurtured while reducing the appearance of split ends. Lengths are left looking glossy and healthy. Okay. Okay, here we have something by We What? These are all just really bizarre. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Um, but it's just, it's a detox shampoo, which is a bit daft really, because I think you should have some sort of conditioner to go with it. You can't really get the full effects and the benefits of just the shampoo. So I think it is a bit silly to send out samples 
or products like this into a beauty box and expecting you to get a get the full effect of trying it out you do need the conditioner it's a set it comes a, it work they work together i will never rate anything that comes as just a shampoo or a conditioner on its own oh that does smell so nice okay it doesn't matter yeah it, you still should come with a conditioner but that does smell quite nice and i can't pronounce it so i'm sorry about that but yes, a detox shampoo. This and another product in here. This is by Pry Beauty. Uh, it's an ageless upper arm cream. Oh, so I'm guessing it's like that other cream that we got for the underarm bits. Yeah, it just says stuff in another language. Yeah, it just says massage into upper arms using circular motions until product is fully absorbed. For best results, use twice a day. Okay, so what is it? It's is this a tightening cream? It says ageless upper arm cream. Um, is it supposed to make you look like you've got ageless upper arms? Okay. Last but not least, we have something by Code 8. It's a hydrating lip colour. Oh, do you know what? I thought we weren't going to get anything makeup in here. Um, but okay, we have. That's how it looks. It looks like it's a lip crayon yeah nice very hydrating glides on very sheer quite a bit of a glossy look to it as well um that's nice that we got a, a, a you know a lip product in there um but yeah you know what i'm not crazy about this box even though it was free and i can't really complain i just feel like they've piled a lot of leftover stock onto me that they couldn't get rid of um, and onto a lot of other people i think and that's how that feels so yeah so these are all the latest in beauty edits none of them are a subscription i have not chosen any of these myself apart from the one that i created as an edit i think all in all 60 pounds i probably paid for two of the boxes and one of them uh, came free some great products some not so great products i think latest in beauty is good to check out whether it's just for their edits or whether you want to go on and subscribe to them i haven't really done that yet i think i might look into it at some point uh, further on into the year um but as it stands nothing seems to stand out to me and make me want to go i'm subscribing so i'm avoiding that for now um but hey the edits seem quite cool not too expensive quite affordable and some good products it's great to be back and i will be doing some more videos soon thank you all so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed i've missed you all and i'll see you very soon take care bye